Alright, so one of my favorite series of all time, top 5, is Marvel Spider-Man. It came out in 2018 for the PS5, and they recently remastered it for the PC and PS5. I'm playing on the PS5 today. But I figured with a new game coming out later this year, um, why not go ahead and play through the game? That way we have it fresh on our minds going into the new game. Um, and I can give you my thoughts on what I want on the new game. You guys can comment down below what you want. Um... But yeah, I figured we'd go ahead and play through this game. If you like what I'm doing, please click that like button down below and subscribe. And before we get this thing started, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the music just for this first part. Because I don't want to get a copyright claim, but I will turn it back up after the first part. But yeah, with that being said, let's get this thing started. Units, level 4 mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk? Squad is 1084 at Fisk Tower. All units stand by. Warrant is en route. Man, this game is beautiful. I remember when this game first came out in 2018. I remember taking off work just so I could play through this game. This game is super duper fun. Um... I haven't turned the music back on yet because uh, I don't want to get a copyright, but I will in just a second. Captain Watanabe. Did you take him down yet? No. We're at Fifth Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Mind if I join in on the fun? You know how his lawyers are. This one needs to go by the book. Come on, Yuri. I've been waiting eight years for this. You really want to help? Head to Times Square. It sounds like his guys are trying to keep my backup from reaching the scene. You got it. Almost there. Man, Insomniac Games really did outdo themselves here. They did a fantastic job. They nailed the story, nailed the combat, nailed the web swinging. Just imagine, uh... uh hello? Parker, where are you? We must run through the demonstration at least once before the Grant Committee arrives. Uh, yes! Sorry, yes, dealing with a personal issue. I'll be in soon, promise. Ugh. Wrap this like up. I was saying, I just imagine time. how much good this next game is going to be. And we've only seen two snippet trailers. That one trailer, the announcement trailer, and then the little commercial trailer we got a few months ago. The next game is going to be insane. Bring in the hammer. Yeah. 
one thing I think that would really be cool if Insomniac did this is like if they added all like the modded uh, suits that people are modding into the PC version of the game. I know they're probably not going to do every single one, but like if they did a majority of them suits, it would just it would bring a lot of replayability back for the second game. That's something that I really would love to see, or something like a suit customization, like say. You have the Tom Holland Spider-Man suit, the No Way Home suit, but you want the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man one. Like, you should be able to, like, uh, swap it out or swap out the lenses and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. I also think another feature that would be cool, um, I don't know how this would work or if they could do this, but, like, if they had three different swinging mode options or swinging styles, like, uh, you see in the PC, uh, version, how people mod, like, the Tobey Maguire swinging okay, style. Eight. All done. What's happening? Yuri? Yuri! Or the Andrew Garfield swinging style, or, to or Tom Holland swinging style. I just think that would be really cool to see. Um, it would also, I really hope they do this, but I want to be able to play as Venom in the next game. Because I know we're going to be able to play as Miles and Spider-Man, so it really raised the bar if we play as Venom. Get more backup, and lock down the airspace. Yuri, you okay? If he makes it out of that building, we're gonna lose him. I'm gonna go, uh... Do your thing. Yes! He's the day, Willie! Hands up! Hey, where are you going? Get! I'll clear a path. Follow me! I know a lot of people compare this game to the Batman Arkham universe when it comes to uh, the combat, but honestly, Insomniac didn't really steal much from them. Like, they didn't really steal really anything at all. I'd say they took inspiration from that game, because a lot of games do take inspiration from the Batman Arkham, because it was like the first game to come out to implement like that that good combat that we wanted and <clears throat> if anything I think they uh, yeah they used it but they turned it into their own thing and therefore you know it's it's pretty cool Insomniac games that really did give us a lot of good villains. We had Doc Ock as the main villain, Mr. Negative, we had Shocker, Electro, um, Scorpion, uh, and in the DLC we had Tombstone, and we had, uh, uh, what's his name? We had Hammerhead in the DLC. So, they did give us a lot of good villains. For this next game, though, I would really love to see Mysterio, Sandman. We already have Kraven and Venom confirmed. I don't think Green Goblin will show up. I think they're going to save that for the uh, third game. Hopefully we have a third game. They shut the elevators down. Take the stairs. I prefer a more direct approach. Spider-Man, status. Heading to the upper floors, hoping nobody turns on the elevators. Our choppers are taking fire. Looks like Fisk has armed men on every floor. He's desperate. And he's hitting us with everything he's got. I have to find him and end this. Not yet. We just picked up Chatter. They're wiping all their data servers. We need that evidence if we want to put him away for good. Okay, server room it is. Hostiles, next floor up. Call for May. Better answer. Um, hi, Ant-Man. What is all that noise? Watching a superhero movie. What's up? I just wanted to make sure we're still on the dinner tomorrow night. Totally. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Well, okay. Love you. Love you too. 
One villain I don't want to see again. If they bring him back, then bring him back for a small role. But one villain I really don't really care to see is Rhino. Because we've already seen him in the first Spider-Man game and the Miles Morales game. And we kicked his butt a couple times now. So I think he should uh, just take a back seat and take a break for this third game. But like I said, if they bring him back, I would like to see him uh, in like a small role or whatever. Um... Because rumor is is that we're going to be able to play not only as Spider-Man, but also as Miles Morales. So I figured we could get a couple Miles Morales villains too. I'm not too familiar with Miles Morales. I know a little bit about him. I don't know much though. But um, I like him though. He's pretty cool. Find that server room before there's no evidence left. If I go in this way, they'll destroy all the evidence. I should look for a sneaky way in. There we go. Huh. It's like my own private ventrance. Fisk may be a dirty criminal, but he has remarkably clean air vents. Hurry up. The boss wants everything erased. Can't make it delete any faster. They're so cute when they're oblivious. Ah, come on. Halfway there. Need another minute or two. One thing I would like to see though in the second game is like if we got a scene where Peter has to go to the raft to go visit Doc Ock for something like maybe he needs help fighting off Venom or whatever because we saw in the teaser trailer where he had uh, Doc Ock's arms um, which I'm hoping that's not like a main thing. I'm hoping it's just like an ability or whatever, but like, who knows? Or if it is there, hopefully it's there for, um, just a little bit of time. See just how good their security is. Ah, you guys forgot the latest kernel patch. Hiding so. Calvary. Here for you. Says the guy frantically erasing his search history. After all these years, more still just an ignorant child. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Get that door down now! Get past him. Destroy everything. One thing I'm really curious to know, though, for the second game is if this symbiote is going to be attached to Harry Osborn for the whole game, or if it's going to go, or if they're going to bring Eddie Brock into the second game and the symbiote detaches from Harry and goes to Eddie. Uh, it's going to be really, really curious to see uh, how they handle that. Um, because we know in the first game, the end credit scene, how we saw Harry was in this tube, and we learned how he was sick, and I don't know. An explosion just... I saw it. Fisk could have the whole place wired. I'm sending in a bomb unit. I'll make sure no one gets in their way. I don't know if he has cancer, or what, but like, the symbiote is, um... Keeping him from getting any more sick is what I'm learning from it. So it's going to be really curious to see how they handle that. Another thing that we heard that was coming straight from Insomniac was that they were introducing a new dialogue system. So with that... Clear. Move up. Hey guys, I guess bombs are part of Willie's getaway plan. Sounds like they're trapped. You go after them. We'll look for the bombs. I'm hoping we can get side missions kind of similar to like the 2002 Sam Raimi Spider-Man game. Uh, how they had icons above their head and they would go tell you to go do multiple different things. Like go save a guy from falling off of the building. Uh, go bring a person to the hospital. You know, you get what I'm saying. Y'all played that game before. I'm hoping we get something like that. Chopper's took a beating. We just had to ground our last one. 
If Fisk calls in a chopper, we have no one to stop it from landing. And no one to chase him if he flies away. Why do I get the feeling that's what he was planning all along? Because he probably was. Damn. Yuri, get EMTs up here, fast! We're trying. Another feature I think would be cool, like, I don't know how it would work, I, I guess I would kind of want it to be its own separate game mode, but like, uh, a multiplayer mode, because we know that Insomniac was working on a multiplayer um, feature for the first game and it never did get added, so it'd be pretty cool like if we had a little separate game mode and it came in its own game mode, it would really bring back the um, replayability for the second game. That samurai armor though right there looks pretty sick. It'd be cool if we had a Spider-Man samurai armor. Rocking around, swinging uh, katanas everywhere. <laughs> the bomb squad guys get through this. Get him! Settle down. I've got enough for everybody. What I really hope Insomniac adds is like more parkour stuff to um, Spider-Man's mobility, because like. The, don't get me wrong, the combat and the parkour and everything, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I love it. But, like, I think we could have more animations, like, with Spider-Man 2. You could go into, like, the arcade and uh, buy tricks and stuff you could do. You guys all right? We were just about to call for backup. I think I'm it. Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. It'd be really cool if we could also go into, like, not every building, but, like, the main buildings, like the Sanctum Sanctorum, uh, Peter's apartment, um, you know, Oscorp, uh, the Daily Bugle, stuff like that would be really cool to do. So your plan didn't work. On to plan B, getting kicked in the face. I also would love a suit to wear, like, he's suited up as Spider-Man, but he doesn't have his mask. I get it. Like the secret identity thing, but Hey Yuri. Looks like some of your guys were on Fisk's payroll. Good news is you were Willie's last line of defense. I'm right outside his office. Take him down. Now. With pleasure. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Get the chopper ready. I won't be long. I'm surprised you made it this far. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? years of this insolence. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Like I was saying, I get it, the secret identity thing, but like, people would love that. Like, I would swing around, like, with no mask. That would be fun. And even in the cutscenes, like, I don't think people would really care. And like, if anything, it would just be funny. Real. How is this happening? What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you! Take your best shot. Gotta take down good old Mr. Fisk. It'd be cool if they brought him back in the second game. I wouldn't mind that, because like we really didn't get to see much of him in the first game other than like the first part and one small part during the middle act of the game. I'm kind of wishing I started this on New Game Plus, that way I could have all my abilities and upgrades unlocked, because it would make uh, all these boss fights go by, like, so fast. But, it's all good though, because I wanted to start over from scratch, so, it's all good. You are 
everything that's wrong with this city! Huh. I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man! Another feature I think would be really cool for the second game is if you brought like all the bosses back from the first game and the new one and say they break out from the raft and you have to go, you get a phone call from the police and you have to go stop them uh, from uh, time and time again, which I think would be really cool and bring back a lot of replayability to the game. I'm also hearing a rumor that like every suit in the game is going to have a symbiote variant of that suit, which I think would be really cool. Like imagine all the uh, old suits from the first game and the new ones having a symbiote variant. That's going to be sick. Imagine swinging around as Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, but with a symbiote version. That, that would look so sick, honestly. And hopefully we can get... Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, because, like, honestly, that is my favorite suit out of <clears throat> uh, all the Spider-Man suits. That's my favorite. Alright, pop quiz. If you made it this far into the video, put in the comments down below. All I want you to say is 7. That's it. It would be really cool as if uh, Wolverine Logan made an appearance uh, at some point in the second game because we know that Insomniac is making a Wolverine game. And it would be really cool as if uh, they connected the two worlds together. Honestly, in my opinion, Insomniac Games should be the ones to make every Marvel AAA game from here on out because they did such a great job with the first two Spider-Man games and they're going to be doing a great job with the Wolverine game. So. Kiss now? Yeah, maybe later. Finally off to Rikers, huh? You know, I think you've got more enemies in there than I do. If you think this will be more than a minor inconvenience... Whoop, gotta go. Hey! Good luck, Willie. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiots! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month you wish you had me back! The Kingpin is heading to prison. End of an era. I feel like I should celebrate. Maybe take a vacation. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more, please comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.